Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was great. Thank you. Uh, 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 Sorry, what's your name? Rajan. Rajan. Okay, so he has been safely navigating me through animals and... <laughs> We, we had to go through a pile of cement, wet cement at one point too. That was pretty crazy. So anyway, yep, use Candy Budget Taxi for your candy transport. What is this? It's, it's like a buggy track. This can't be right. I think uh, vehicles can go. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think you should go down this. Okay, so we're stopped for a second because I'm not really sure if we're in the right spot. Um, the drivers walked ahead. I can literally see like a river, but it's almost like but there's trees all through it, so I can't imagine that this is where Cinnamon Air is taking off. But we're in this super remote area now of this lush, beautiful golf course. So, yeah, super weird experience. Hey, there's a golf right there. This is so weird. It's really weird. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes into my hour-ish wait for the flight because of the delay. So they have a wonderful clubhouse and I've been able to order something I haven't had since I lived in India, which is spicy cashews, which I'm really excited about. So I've ordered that in a Bloody Mary because, you know, oh my god, it's so inexpensive. Bloody Mary's like $4.50 which is crazy we're at this uber posh golf course so yeah kind of don't mind being delayed here it's awesome My hair doesn't look so stupid today. <laughs> hey guys, I am checking in for my Cinnamon Air flight from Candy to Kogala. It often flies out of the lake in Candy. Today it's flying out of its second base, which is on Victoria Reservoir at a wild golf course that's absolutely stunning and had $4 Bloody Marys. It was awesome. But I am the first person, the second guest have just arrived, but as you can see, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous reservoir. It actually feels like, because here you have all the trees in the water still, and I, I don't think that's a mangrove, it's, um, well, I don't know. It's just lovely. It's really, really beautiful. So, uh, it was supposed to be a flight that stopped once. It was going to be about an hour and a half. It is now going direct, which is pretty awesome. So it's a 30 minute seaplane ride from Candy to Kogala, which if you drove, it's more like the six to seven ish more hour range. So this is fabulous, super convenient. As we wait for the flight, <laughs> we've gotten to the point where we almost ate each other oh, from hunger. <laughs> Went through three Carlsbergs. Where about is it? About to pull out the. Yeah, I have one glass of wine in the <laughs> bottle I bought at the resort I was at. Where is it?
service is great, a little not on time, and the changing locations a bit wonky, but who cares, you're on holiday. It worked out better for me today anyway. Let's get back to seeing this awesome ride. in advance your transportation so it can be vetted and uh, pass through security. I did not do that. So uh, my friendly, oh wait, you can't see anything. Oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> Give me a lift to the gate and then there's a tuk-tuk waiting. Great. Oh my God. Hi, Angela. Thanks for the hooch. Thank you. Okay, uh, hey guys, okay, I am now in a very lovely van with the very lovely Herbert. Because I'm here and I had coordinated through the PR and marketing team with Cinnamon Air, I didn't have the same communication channels that the normal, you know, all of the other passengers had. So it was quite interesting. I, there was lots of information that I didn't know. Um, like when you are arriving to a military base, you have to have your transportation pre-planned so that they can vet and let people through the gates, which makes a whole lot of sense because you can't just let it, ooh, ooh, something's, oh, there's a fly, sorry. Um, so anyway, so Herbert has picked me up. We are going 13 kilometers, like, what did I say it was? Religama. Yeah, Religama. Well, like, we're going to Waligama, but what did I say it was, 17 kilometers? Yes. 17, okay, 17 kilometers. I'm staying for just one night. I had like a wonky um, uh, miscommunication, and so I am staying at the lovely Kumara Villa in just behind Cape Welagama, basically, where I'm moving to tomorrow. So we are headed to Kumara now. Ooh, pretty, hold on. Thank you so much. Welcome, Who's a good girl? Come here. Hi. Oh. Hi. Who's a pretty girl, huh? Hi. 